What's that? Welcome. Amongst its many energetic functions, the Kandasana, the one I'm showing up there, is one of the most powerful methods of promoting the health as well as the vigor and the vitality of our reproductive system. It is so effective in alleviating, even healing, uh, some uh, issues um, pertaining or concerning the reproductive organs, both for men and women. But it's difficult. It's an advanced practice and it's not for everyone. So for today, let me share with you a technique which is so similar to Kandasana when it comes to stimulating the hips and making the pathways of our energy open and flowing in that part of our hips and to promote the uh, better circulation of blood and energy in the reproductive system. Right, so most of this um, components are doable but it will still require a level of flexibility and strength of the body so if any of these elements are still heavy for your body at this stage of your practice you might wait up a bit and uh, sort out those elements first before you try this tutorial all right starts with the practice of um, half vajrasana all right so in here just um, feeling your hips yeah resting even on both sides and then just breathing a few times here. You may move the body side to side. And then one more thing, you don't do sequence from a cold body, make sure the body is warm. All right? So after a few breaths here, changing legs, the other side. So just to allow the knees and the hips yeah, to adjust organically. Yeah. Don't fight it. Yeah. Our body adjusts better if we allow it to move. All right. All right, just breathing here. All right, and change ties again. All right. And here, yeah, let's focus more on the alignment of our legs and our inner hips in general. So uh, everything goes inward towards that part of our hips here, yeah, close to uh, the lower belly, yeah, and then the outer sides of our hips wrap inward and everything will fall towards that point. Yeah, and then you can rise the breath up. So it's a rising breath. So from the peripheries, everything goes inward, and then from the center, you rise it upward. Right. And then from here, you know, just breathe comfortably, and at the top of the inhalation, we will be practicing Kumbhaka. So inhale retention. Clip the Jala Narabandha for four, three, two, one. All right, clip up. Exhale the throat and the chest, and the rest of your body relaxes. Shift your weight to that extended leg and cross that front leg and then side to side again. All right, and then do the other side. Mm -hmm. Inwards, inhale, exhale, sitting back, inhale, in and up. All right, retain, thousand four, thousand three, thousand two, thousand one. All right, a light clip. All right, exhale the throat and the chest. Shift your weight back to the hips, all right? Let your weight pour out to the side and cross the leg and then side to side again. All right, first leg again. All right, thigh bones in, belly in, right, and it's the breath out. All right, this time at the top of the inhalation, we will add another uh, technique. Uh, we call this the Vajroli Mudra. All right, so the Vajroli Mudra, what we're gonna do is we lightly clip yeah, the genital anal region yeah, like you're holding um, your hips towards the midline, the, like there's a ball between your inner hips and you want to just lightly um, hug it, yeah, you will feel it. Yeah. So you may do it one per second yeah, while breathing through it. All right. Like close, open, close, open, something like that. Yeah. All right. And then from there, yeah, we're going to do it longer with the retention. Yeah, so breathing in, as you retain the breath, do the Bajroli. Yeah, you will feel that part of you, this part will jump up. Yeah. Thousand four, thousand three, thousand two, thousand one, clip. Alright, exhale the throat at the bottom of it. Release the Bajroli Mudra. Alright, shift your weight to the side and tangle the leg and then switching legs again. Alright. Right. Shift your weight back, inhale, rise. Right. Keep your spine alert. Vajroli, yeah, lightly uh, hug, clip, thousand four, thousand three, thousand two, 
1001 yeah like clap uh, loosen the neck and then exhale the technique all the way down shift the weight to the side and then shake the legs again all right yeah. first leg again all right this time around yeah we will do some adjustment of our legs and the heel yeah rising the hips all right and then just folding your foot towards the mid channel yeah so it can rest between the right and the left sitting bone close to the tail not against the perineum but closer to the tail all right towards your anal region all right and then from there feel the tail you won't miss it yeah as soon as your heel finds a point it will contour you know, beautifully to that point and then just hug the legs back to the center channel so you can sit comfortably on your heel move your weight back at first it might not be the most comfortable feeling but you're gonna get the hang of it all right and then here you may use the heel to lightly massage you know, the other part you might do it side to side all right exhale all right you may feel it a bit burning um, but that's part of the process yeah you are stimulating the nerves and the muscles there massaging it yeah that's why you make the 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 blood flow to increase yeah, in that region of your body now inhale all right do the retention much rolling thousand three as you do the vice rolling shift the weight back a bit so you, you are pouring the weight of your body towards the heel and make sure that lower belly is active yeah rising breath thousand two thousand one clap all right exhale the throat all right all the way down and then release the weight to the side all right let the foot entangle shake it out a bit all right so make sure there's no pressure here make sure the foot and the rest of the ankle is flexible all right that's the reason why it's very similar to the kandasana because the alignment of the foot while it's under is like that all right so let's take a look at that closely so the other leg all right first you may want to open so you can just angle the foot towards the midline and then place the uh, heel between the right and the left sitting bone closer to the tail and hug your knee to the midline and rearrange the front leg too and then there adjust side to side now one side is normally heavier all right good you may slide the tail back a bit yeah side to side right one side would have its own way of finding its um, lighter you know, spot yeah make sure there's no pressure there yeah the foot can rest comfortably right? there breathing in clip as the clip you will feel the the muscles inside the pelvis will lightly um, um, activate or really um, clip uh, the heel thousand three thousand two thousand one well open up exhale all the way down to the hips release the visually let go to the side yeah side to side again all right and then the first leg again bending all right lifting adjust the foot find the center hug the leg back in all right this time around we will add you know, another component yeah this is uh, very similar to the Maha Mudra actually. So I've given a full tutorial on the Maha Mudra. You might want to take a look at that so you can you know, study as well the principles behind the technique. So breathing in. Or don't do the Vajroli first. Exhale, inhale, reach. And exhale. All right. Inhale, pull back. Do the Vajroli and then do the retention. They are done all together in one go. Yeah. Exhale, inhale. At the top, clip. You may look between the eyebrows or you may look inside and make sure you're holding the steady part of the foot i prefer holding it at the top so i can move the side trunk up because if you hold it this way the spine is restricted now we'll pull back thousand three thousand two thousand one inhale exhale loosen all right release the whole of the structure to the back rise the breath up all right hands to the floor and exhale the hips to the side all right and release the leg side to side at this stage of the practice you might be feeling that part of your hips somehow energized yeah a bit burning and hot all right the other leg too hips slide back all right prepare the foot breathing in exhale inhale reach 
exhale, inhale, pull back. All right, if you can do the Ujjayi breath, that's very ideal because the Ujjayi breath is a, um, a way of really sending that uh, potent uh, prana inside the system. But if you can't do the Ujjayi breath, just a normal breath and a retainer. Thousand three, thousand two, thousand one, clip up in. All right, exhale, loosen the neck, the chest. Inhale, shift the weight back. Rise the body up, don't let the leg collapse. Rise up. All right, exhale, hands, and then the hips to the floor. All right, and then release the legs. All right, so that's the whole technique. So how many, maybe for the first six weeks, just one repetition each side. Just be comfortable with it. Let the sensation sink. Let the breath and the mind become comfortable doing it. And when you're ready to progress, add one repetition every two weeks and make a retention longer until you can comfortably do practice five repetitions each side flowing in between sets or you can do the sequence in one go yeah so that's a good alternative to kandasana not just in promoting the health and wellness of our hips and our reproductive system but it's a good preparation for some deeper elements later on or even meditation after yeah, until the next time namaste